Donation. Donation. I know you was clenching your ass during that Madrid penalty shootout. Yo, that game was crazy as bro. Oh my goodness, yo, I couldn't. I, I couldn't even look at the screen. I'm not gonna lie, it was so far though. That was probably one of the best games that I witnessed on television. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. See, I'm lying to myself already. This stream. Count how many lies I tell, please. Who are you? I'm Ken Carson. Ken Carson, welcome to Coachella. What's up? What's up? Why Coachella every person Ocho? that get or and got Ken, money go veneers? You right there. Got my boy Long. He got new one. money. He got the bad <laughs> black merch. Show no, show no what name. Donations. Donations. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. At Coachella 2024. Bruce, you called someone an N-word with the hard ER in the last 48 hours? No. No, I don't use the hard ER on a day-to-day -day basis at all. Or music. And right off the bat, Yo, Ken, Tom and I out that's coming in here telling me to get the yam off my face for donations. five months. Donations. donations. As simple as that, bro. Yo, Bruce. Since you're so cool with the bank teller, can he confirm that five band transaction? <sighs> so is you. Yo, man. Oh my God. Yo, PayPal is so green, bro. Yo, PayPal has to be one of the worst apps that I've ever used in my life. I have a gift for you Donations. from 2009 featuring. Donations. Gucci Man, Donations. Soldier Boy. Everybody shout out to Adidas track Jumex. fit. What can it's you say about toe. Contained no needles. <laughs> Donations. Donations. Bro, why? Donations. Why, bro? Just loaded up. Yeah, some white tonight, boys huh? with all them cars. You showed us that one time. Put a demon engine in ATRX. Bro, I'm about to I'm about to mute these so I can watch this because I already know how I already know, bro. I already know how y'all get. So just save it for after after the videos. Just save it. Let me watch this. Like if you open it up, Shawty Low. He's from the area. Mm-hmm. He from the west side, man. That boy Shiloh from Bankhead. I'm sure a lot of people know how that turned out, how that went. What was it like in that era? I'm sure everybody know, like, look, you know, like, <laughs> this ain't big era, but shit tough, shit rough, just like another hood. Ken Astronaut. Alright. <laughs> Hell, bro. <laughs> That's on Twitter. That's that my old Twitter, right? That my old Twitter, right? Come on, bro. Niggas be, niggas, be trying to, niggas be trying to act like they don't remember right. the shit that they did, bro. Right. You ain't no here to tell us, Me, myself, and Ken. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, Fi. No, Fi. You just pulling out crazy no, shit. Fi. I think that was my kick name. I had hoes on kick. Ben had my hoes on kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ben had my hoes on kick. Yeah, give Context. My my kick name was period jet life period. <laughs> Yo, no cap, that was my kick name. Yo, don't uh, look my shit up. Yo, don't look my shit up right now. It's probably a black profile picture. Cause that was my old Instagram. That was my old kick name, and that's just how I felt like. And Ken, I was also wondering <laughs> what exactly <laughs> is going on in this photo <laughs> right Dreet, here. Man. That my boy Dreet, man. We had a we had a game stop. What are you looking I for? Had, I, I ain't even had this box <laughs> at the time. I had, I had the P more, the P three more for me, I think. PS3. Yeah, I think I had a PS three, and we was right here. We went to the store, man. What do you think about Max? Max Payne? Oh, bro. Nah, who lie. used to sit in the game shop and play the little guest game for hours, bro? I know everybody bro. liked the game. Niggas like, was hogging it. Mark Wahlberg playing it until the damn analog rubber came what off. What wrestling? WWE. Smackdown versus Rock. I was playing that shit every day, bro. Like every day, faithfully. Like I was playing 2K, all that streaming shit. I would have been went up if they had that shit. Smackdown versus Rock. I would have that shit right up. And Ken, I have a <clears throat> gift for you right here. Speaking of wrestling, yeah, the wrestling man. album. Yeah. Yeah, man. From 1985, possibly that you could sample too. Oh my Yo, God, look at Vince McMahon. This nigga, bro. Vince McMahon. Uh, check out, like, it folds out actually. It's a it's a gatefold, oh. and you can see them in the studio. <laughs> that's hard. They wait. They was they was recording. Yeah, that's a record. It's an emo dude in your the Iron Sheik in your kick profile picture. And, and, ch and check it out, like check out, like playing drums and oh, like oh, yeah. Oh, oh, 
Damn, that's crazy, bro. What? I never. I never what, so everybody got an album, basically. <laughs> basically, everybody make music. Wrestlers bro, make their own, own intro songs, bro. bro. I, I didn't know that. Was, what, what was the first? What the first week sales? What was the first week sales? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think John Cena went platinum or some shit. He did a lot of people, you know. I bet y'all didn't know that. Sorry, that boy John Cena. What do you think about music and wrestling? What do you think about wrestling games? Yeah, that was that was my favorite. I tell you, SmackDown versus Raw, you get on the stick. I be but playing them, like the difficulty level, you know, a lot of times I've hard times. For me? No, for me, you know, oh, you know, for me, you know, like that's a, are they kind of hard to play? I kind of find some of the games. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta just you gotta play all the time. So you, I'm sure you part time gaming. It ain't, <laughs> you can't do that. That's why I don't play the game like that. What's now. part time? No, what is full time? Like every day. Bro, for every day, that shit every second, bro. Them gamers be gaming, and when if you're not a gamer and you get on the game, like you think you're gonna get on the game and just enjoy yourself. No, not in, not in 2024. Cumberland. Look at y'all on my dick, bro. Wild, man. Division Hold six. On, bro. Cumberland, Wait. yeah. You ain't even from Atlanta though, five. <laughs> Cumberland, Ma. Cumberland Ma, yeah. Thank you, Caleb. How am I not a gamer? I don't know. I know a lot of Caleb, so I don't want to be early inspiration for you. I don't want to. I don't want to get this wrong though. I have a gift for you: a Sons of Pioneers record. Damn. And if we turn it wow. over, the Sons of Pioneers. Man, the nigga that said I look like Jay Future more and more Carson, every day, bro. 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 I got no patience, bro. bro. I got they, no patience for this night, bro. I remember when I first. Yes, bro. It's the first one. From like the eighties, right? Uh, actually, the sixties or the fifties. Yeah, he played harmonica too. I guess I'm. This is who you used to come up as on Google, bro. Oh God, bro. He's explaining it, bro. I used to come up as this nigga on Google, but he used to come up as me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, Would y'all give veneers if y'all had the money to get veneers? Shy Ken Carson, though, bro. But wouldn't it be great if Ken Carson sampled Ken Carson? Ken Carson would they clear it? Well, I think maybe Ken Carson has passed away. Y'all two gonna be baby, <laughs> baby as hell on the big ass white cat. Don't bring me out. <laughs> show budget for whatever you. Uh, it'll be amazing sample though. I'm gonna say nah, they're not clearing the sample. What are we gonna do? We gonna spend your money. He was a country singer, a cowboy as well in movies. Ken Carson, I'm a vampire, the total opposite. You produced Bino. Mm -hmm. What's it like being a producer? Because, you know, I shoot all those producer records. That shit a mix. That shit will fuck with your head as an artist. Don't, but choose your, I don't, it's rare. You got rare it's like Kanye and like, you got a lot of people who make their own. But I feel like me personally, bro, I rather lock in on the recording side, like being on the mic, because I feel like beat, I'm taking up time where I could be on the mic. And I'm also taking the money away from my producers. I'm not getting away with that. Like today, I'll make a beat with a producer and not even. Not I can make beats. Like claim that by I the way, the bet y'all didn't know that one either. You first met or encountered Cardi when you were 12? Don't make me hop on the yeah. Fruity Loops. Get you dangerous. In the studio? How did that happen? Salsa hot. Salsa hot. 808 Mafia shit. What was it like being in there, like being in the studio? Like no how cap. did you interact when you were so young? That must have been amazing. You got to look up a, you gotta look up a 12 year old. Then look up Atlanta 12 year old and you'll get the whole quote you bought her a bag I bought oh. her some chips <laughs> how did you meet Starboy out of town that's quite amazing all right all right so during the meet some me like when I was with like <laughs> the Southside and TM88 <laughs> TM88 already was like they already had people that they fought with and I just fought with whoever they fought with but out of town I used to call him he from both of them from Amsterdam. I mean, I knew out of town first, and I used to call him like four, five in the morning, like, bro, I need some beats, like for like years straight. He knowing like nothing's coming out, but like years straight, asking him that, then he introduced me to Starboy, and then they was start reciprocating the energy. They was like believing in what I was doing, and they was like paying for everything in the beginning of my shit. Shout out. No, you can tell Ken been mewing still. Insane beats like hyper pop, insane. Yeah, yeah. He mews and every Legion time he goes from Canada, idle. Me and my cup. Yep, I just talked to Legion the other day. Shout out Legion. Canada, I love Canada. Mm, I love Canada too. The kid, the women. Quote, floor out to the saint. I ain't talking. Laurent. 
<laughs> I like that boy. What that is? I like that boy. What song? Which song? Jennifer's body. Jennifer's body. Ninety-nine percent accurate. Damn. Fifteen percent accurate. I ain't gonna lie, I like that. And speaking of Jennifer's body, I have a gift for you winding up. A DVD, the story of East Bay Punk, executive produced by Green Day. Damn. What song's on you? Hello. It's the whole entire story of Green Day and how they came up. They're seeing Iron East gift. Bay Punk Rock. The Blu-ray edition. It's Doug getting out of you, jail. Because you love Green Day. You love that whole scene. What gives you about Ken Carson like and Green not Day? Gonna lie. Bro, you're fuck? a nice person. So that boy Billy reach out. I like that. That's Narrated the by the legend Iggy Pop as well. So it's a DVD for you to watch. You, what can what can I play this on though? I can play this on my PS5. Yeah. I'm watching this tonight. This you know how people be leaving this shit in the rapper file, the cool shit? I'm like the total opposite. I'm I'm using everything that I get. Winding up here, what do you think about that meme, getting a haircut? You and Destroy getting a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> we was just getting a haircut. Like, I don't know what people wanted us to do. <laughs> supposed to act when you get a haircut. What we, was... I, we be doing Cruz, a lot of normal PT shit. PT Cruz, like, a head ass nigga. Yeah. You wore on stage a Spider-Man backpack? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Somebody threw the back bling up. I put it on. That was, I think it was either London or Paris. It was, I think it was Paris. It was definitely Paris. And I have a gift for you. A Spider-Man 7-inch. Yeah. A what? From 1974. <laughs> a 7-inch vinyl release. A 7-inch vinyl. Yeah. Clarified it. Yeah. Bro, Spider-Man, my favorite superhero. Tobey Maguire. You feel me? I ain't got to speak on too much, Sam Rapp. <laughs> and speaking of Yo, MF Doom, Joel sampled Wall. by Thank MF you for Doom the well five for the it, bro. Bells of Doom release. You. Damn. So that's Thank a gift you, for you as well. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to sample some of this shit for real, bro. And what was going on here? I want to tell y'all what was really going on. You remember X Days? X Days, bro. Not X, but if you know, you know. This is literally the prime example this is Teen Ace. That's all I'm gonna say. It's Teen Ace. What class? Cooking class was not <laughs> cooking. I know it's been, look at the food and shit in the back on the wall. And if we turn it over, this is where it all started, right? Oh, that's crazy. I never noticed this tweet till right now. Y'all boys better meet TM88, man. That's different, bro. Yes, bro, that's crazy. That's actually different as fuck, bro. That's different. And people. Motherfucker be calling me playing shit, man. I met these folks and did my, I worked my one. With a date on it. Yeah. <laughs> and what about being on Google? Don't like, thank you for the get this up, like, bro. I appreciate it. There's a thing it. about you guys on Google. Yeah, Balenci store. That's crazy. That's crazy. Man. That's crazy, bro. That's yeah, could you explain crazy. that? Every proof of us is like real. Like, you seen that? Like, that was we doing. You see everything we do in real life? Balenciaga store, like, that wasn't nothing out of the ordinary. I'll be sitting That's outside of the wild, gas station until like 6 a.m., 7 a.m., Jamaican plays. I'm not on the stream. Like, I really be outside two feet, 10 goddamn toes planted into the cement, really. You feel me? You on Google Maps? Begging and shit? No. I'm about to show y'all some crazy, yo. This is how my brain works. I on, remember bro. that specific. You need a guy. You need. <laughs> yo, when they say don't buy weed from the gas station, they talking about that I sell and I get. Still, bro, so I don't care. Day, bro. We was in Germany. Broke make your eyes go wonky. Plane, up at the store. It's like and Jake Future be right next to me. I didn't even imagine, like, Google car or whatever. But I remember that. That was, like, probably, like, last like year, same year. time. Yeah, 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 it was a year ago. That was a year ago. And winding up here, another kid for you Google right Maps. here, a Rob Zombie Dragula. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I was waiting. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. If you weren't gonna say nothing about Rob Zombie... I probably would have like, I probably would have reported your video, bro. He would have been capped, As a uh, fraudulent. Yeah, bro. Yes, bro. I really appreciate this. Rob Zombie, you know how he said uh, the like first movie you remember? Yeah, I remember the the DVD things you could flip up and it was portable. Bro, the first movie like I locked in on, it was like 2008 or 9. Halloween, bro. And that's what just... Made me start, first movie like, he locked on, locked in on was Halloween. Like, looking into what's going on. First movie movies. I locked in on was Nemo. Halloween. I used to pull up on him and we watching it all yeah. of them, every single one, every day. Yeah. Like that shit became my favorite movie. I feel. Yeah. Watching like Thirty One and like 
Halloween. That was my first movie I locked that's in with. That's a gift with. for you, Rob Zombie, the Dragula Funko edition. Yeah, bro, Rob Zombie, tap in. Shoot my, do my album cover or something. You did a video with Cole Bennett. Mm -hmm. What was it like getting the camera really close? There was really close camera. Why well, I gotta be paused, bro? It ain't even like that. Do, 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 do. God damn. Do, do. It ain't how he explained do, it, bro. He, do, do, do. Bro, he was boosting. Do, do. He was boosting for show. He was boosting for show. The camera do, didn't do, do, do nothing Fuck. crazy. Do. <laughs> Do, do what happened do, there do. exactly? Could you explain to Freaky me? Freaky ass choice uh, of words. Oh no! I can't. Do, what do, happened? Do, do, do. <laughs> we were shooting the video. Fuck! It turned out though. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I love that video. Shout out Cole. And you were at Grave Digger Mountain recently. Yeah, that's my boy. Shout out YB Double O Fuck Trey. What sort of vibe did you get at the Grave Digger Mountain? Like, I have another gift for you. YB, Some SpongeBob. Yeah. Was it a SpongeBob? Shit ain't been right since. Yes, bro. This is my. Bro, to this day, I, okay, so I got YouTube TV, right? And YouTube TV they always got like a lot of channels. And, bro, they got. If you. When I come home from the studio, it's like seven, eight, because I'm in there all night. And they'll be playing SpongeBob. Bro, they play SpongeBob all night, bro. <laughs> I'd be, I wouldn't even be surprised if as soon as I go home, this episode. You not is Trey? Is all right, nigga, do I need to go get my chain from upstairs? Vibe, the Ken Carson vibe. I was wondering, bring that vibe to Grave Digger fuck? Mountain. What was the SpongeBob vibe there? Nigga, it wasn't no SpongeBob vibe at Grave Digger Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I just. But, <laughs> <laughs> Nah, hell nah. It wasn't Yo, no SpongeBob type shit. When you 3D NYC, no, thank you for the sub, TV bro. On. We was recording the whole time. Can anything else you'd like to add to the people out there at all? Uh, don't let don't let nobody tell you that you that you can't like, like nothing is out of reach, bro. Nothing is out of sight. Nothing is out of mind, bro. Do whatever you want to do because you could be the first one to do something, or you could be the last one to do it. Why should people care <laughs> about Ken Carson? Why should people care? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't really would it give a Well, thanks so much, Ken <laughs> Carson. Keep on rocking in the- I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm, lying. I'm lying. I'm cool, bro. I'll be chilling. I like scary movies. I like SpongeBob. You ain't got to worry about me unless you got a beautiful girlfriend. So, yeah. You feel me? If you know I know I joke. Why be, why be, why be, why be shit, why be shit, why be shit? Is King Carson mogging y'all in real life? <clears throat> why does your bat look like lucky he done been through a fire? He mogging y'all. We game. Double O five. Double O four K Trey. Double O, big double. Well, thanks so much, Ken. <laughs> Keep on rocking in the free world and <laughs> do, 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 do. Huh, huh. Yeah. Bro, part two, bro. All right, say later. <laughs> Good interview. Taco. Keeping that shit a bean. Shut Yam knows. Who do you think you're talking to? Y'all see my chin though?
His videos feel like one of those videos the teachers used to put up in school. Who are you? Destroy Lonely. Destroy Lonely, welcome to Coachella. What's up, man? And Lone, who do you have beside you right now? Our brother, Ken Carson. Hello, Ken. What's up, Nard? And we're going to talk to you a bit later. Yep. And right now, we have Destroy Lonely. And right off the bat, I have a gift for you right here. A My Bloody Valentine oh, it's LP. It's hard. It's the first one I ever listened to. What can you say about My Bloody Valentine? Damn, bro. I really like their music. Uh, somebody that means a lot to me, uh, they showed me their music like a couple years ago. So. <laughs> and that is a gift for you. A My Bloody Valentine LP. Yeah, you. that's a gift for you. Bro, thank you. Uh, hey, hold this to it. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. That's that's why I fuck with that for sure. Destroy Lonely, did it all begin at a cookout at Mike's house where you met Jesus? <sighs> who the hell is Mike? No. Do you know Mike? Mike. Who the hell is Mike? Oh, White Boy Mike. Yeah, thank for real. Yeah, that, that's how I happened. But that ain't how my started, though. That's how I met my twin from back then. But no, nah, that ain't how it went. But I, that's, that's the moment, though, for sure. What was that moment like? Shit, that was just a part of my life. That's when I met my brother at the time, Nisus. That's still my brother, too. But that's when I met him, and that's when, like, shit started rolling off of me. Like, making music. They gave me my laptop. All right. Yeah, that was, that was shit started kicking off, for sure. Nisus, a punk rapper. Into punk. He, he going. That's my brother. He going crazy, for sure. Thank you, Mr. Burns. <laughs> Yo! Nah! <laughs> hey, Mr. Burns, that's... Hey! Nah, yo, shout out Mr. Burns. That's my, uh, that's my piano teacher from high school. Yo, what the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, shout out Mr. Burns, bro. I used to skip class and go to his class every fucking day. <laughs> it made music, bro. That's hard. That's, that's cool. pretty cool. Piano. Yeah, bro, but it wasn't even about the piano class. I wasn't in there doing the class. He just knew I would like to make music, so he'll let me skip. And, like, it was a studio in school, so he'll let Damn, me skip. Damn, the teachers that let class, you skip in school be the realest studio, ones, bro. Him, he Damn, just, he bro. Let me rap all day. You were also into science fairs? What the fuck is Ken doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I do a lot of different things, bro. <laughs> Yes, I want, hey, real shit though. I want every science fair I ever did first place. No bet. Hey, you. All right, I was in the spelling bee. Y'all think I won? What place do y'all think I came in in the spelling bee? Genuinely speaking, like if you had to guess. It wasn't last. It wasn't last at all. It wasn't last. It wasn't last, bro. It wasn't dead last. It wasn't fourth. It wasn't fifth. I came in, um, I came in third. <laughs> Came in third. You. That's not yeah, that so bad, though. Know, like, right it's not that bad. Very science. Ish. <laughs> yeah, my first rap name was. Science like, fairs was just. Meant, uh, like, gold. That shit was corny and fun. Bro, what are you doing right now? Volcano me, bro. <laughs> you are destroy lonely. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> hey, you. That was my name. That's crazy. <laughs> Quote Little Tundra, he gonna stay. That's one of my bars, but I got cold VVS. Yep, cold Valentine. What the fuck? That's the first one. Little Tundra. Yep, Tundra Boy Lonely. First name. Mm -hmm. AU. AU. Tundra Boy Lonely. Then Destroy Lonely. What was Lonely's flexed up slow jams all about? Bro, this all only about. Yo, you asking me weird questions like that was shit wasn't about nothing. That was probably the first tape I ever dropped. Just trying to put music out on SoundCloud. I recorded that shit in school. The name is. Really funny as hell. Flexed up, slow jail. I was tight. I ain't heard that one five. I ain't heard that one five. Cause it don't exist, bro. This nigga crazy. This is like this from when I was like fourteen, bro. Like, but yeah, <laughs> that shit ain't nothing, bro. That's different. What was it like pillow fighting at the mall, bro? That sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that happened, but that sounds crazy. Don't put it like that, nigga. I walking through it was these YouTube niggas. They caught me in my pocket. They said they wanted her. I'm like, wait. But don't make it sound like that, though, Twin. Like, <laughs> I have another gift for you right here. Destroy Lonely, a ludicrous 12 inch featuring. Who's <laughs> on this? Man, you know who on there, man. Infamous 2 0. Infamous 20. Smart for you. And Lil Fate. Who is Your dad. Who's this, though? I don't know. Well, what I was curious is Infamous 20, 
versus I-20. What happened there? He was like infamous for a little while. Yeah, so this is my pops. Uh, he just he just dropped the infamous. What style. a I, mouth. Shit long as hell. In this rap shit, bro, you got to have a name. It's fine. But this hard, though. I never owned. I never owned. And it's got instrumental on it as well for you to experiment on. Nah, this is sick. Shout out this. Your dad also came from battle rap, didn't he? Like, where did he? My pops, my pops on that heavy. He really on that rap. But this is different. I like this a lot. I never, I never owned one of their albums. I ain't gonna lie. Except for my, I had my pops, uh, his first album. I had got that CD a couple months ago just because I seen it in the store. But this is nice though. And that's a gift for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did your dad? I might cover up my condolence hat and go limitless tat on the throat. Opinions. Seriously, man. look, yeah, so growing up, but how do you know that? You are destroyed lowly. We have to know. All right, so growing up, my family used to call me Spank, Spanky, because I used All to right. be bad as hell. I used to always get whoopings and shit, so that's what my pops used to call me. Don't do that shit at all. Your mom was pretty cool, like taking you to Little Wayne. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, mom, my mom, I love my mom for what she did, like, with me and music. Like, when I started doing shows and shit, she was driving me around to all my shows. My first concert, like, literally, first and last concert I ever went to. After this, I went and was doing my own shit. She took me to go see Drake versus Lil Wayne, and that shit changed my whole. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm finna do what these nigga doing. So it was like, yeah, shout out to mom for that. That was fire. I was wondering, what exactly <laughs> is going on in this picture right here? I put you down. Yo, nah, so bro. Me, I ain't gonna, uh, yo, the pictures of me, uh, yo, the pictures of me out that y'all have, I'll never, like, I, I'll run from this shit too, bro. Actually, never. Yeah, be like, probably like 10. Max Payne 3 just came out. It's one of the best shooter games of all time. I wanted it so bad. My pops went to me, go get that shit. He took a picture <laughs> of me. He put this shit on his Twitter. It's been there for probably like 12 years. People started finding it. But yeah, this is what I used to look like when I was a young nigga. This is me now. How hard was it to play that game, like a shooting game? It wasn't nothing. Man, like... Do, geez, do, like, do, yeah, do. I play games. Do, but, do. Like, you were into reprogramming Xboxes and stuff like that. I used to take the controllers. Yo, why do you know this? Who's telling you this shit? Bro, I used to take the controllers, bro. I used to take the Xbox controllers and mod them myself, bro. I used to take them. Damn, get, like, I ain't do my high five. I used to take <laughs> I ain't do what you were saying. Like, I ain't wasn't doing nothing with the Xboxes, but I. I that used one to nigga that knew how to mod like, everybody so iPod and never did yours. You know that. That's crazy. Well, you are destroyed lonely. We have to know. I guess. <laughs> and speaking of video games, etc., I have a gift for you the Fortnite soundtrack for you to sample, possibly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fortnite kind of true, though. Like, what the fuck? Nigga. Right. Hey, all right, look. So since you put me on blast, because I, uh, I guess you know. The vinyl is cool. Like, Yellow. I like Fortnite. It's one of my favorite games. None of my fans can't see me in none of I probably would never give this a play ever, but thank you. But For possible sample, though, and a poster as well. I think I'm going to keep this. <laughs> a wall hanger, a good wall hanger. Yeah, look, I'll box it. And I'm use it as, like you said, art. Over like, under. Like, but I play Fortnite a lot, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody want to smoke on this with me. I ain't gonna lie. Quote: What a bad teammate you are. Damn. Where that's from? Periscope. What was I doing on there? Eight people were watching. What's going on there? <laughs> I was I was geeking out as a kid playing video games. Yo. Online, being stupid. And Yo, bro. Oh my God. Periscope, dude. No, you know what's crazy, chat? <clears throat> A quick story about Periscope. Periscope, you know what? Periscope was the thing that literally got me locked up, bro. Got me locked up, bro. Oh my God. That's, yo, Periscope was literally how they found my school's location to put me in juvenile, bro. <laughs> I wish that video was never crazy. <laughs> I think it's really cool, like using Periscope. Not a lot of people. Now it's really easy. Oh, man, you put shit on the net. That shit on is that still a thing? <laughs> thing <laughs> Fuck that. You previewed Bane for like 64 people? No, four people. It was only four people. But what was the reaction though? All four people said it was hard. So I was like, shit, I'm finna drop it. <laughs> Shout out to the fuck motherfuckers, man. <laughs> what were shows on the east side like? Me, yeah. when I was younger in Atlanta? That shit, I never performed in the east, on the east side, for one. I performed in the city, and it was different. It was, like, Atlanta used to have, like, this little, 
uh, it was like a little scene or whatever. And they used to have like these little parties and these little shows. And I was like, I was trying to do it. So I used to perform. I probably did like a good 10 of them. There's like 12 people in there, maybe 50, maybe 100. But I did them like a couple times and I was like, Dad, I want to do real. And I just kind of quit doing that until I was able to actually be on real stage. And I thought to give Damn. you a gift to welcome you to the land of Gotham, Coachella, a Batman record. Get hates Batman. <laughs> like Batman. I do like Batman a little bit. But I what's wrong with him? It's also good for a wall hanger, isn't it? Like to hang on the wall for artwork. You're giving me a lot of fire looking. Why things. don't mush your mouth like Batman, y'all? Why do niggas hate on Batman? How can you hate on it? Lost both of his parents, bro. I'm into like how things look, but this this is hard though. What year is this from? That is from 1966. Damn, originally like the original original from 1966. That's fire. Where do you find this. Uh, that record, I think I found at Beat Street Records in Vancouver, Canada. Nice. I appreciate that. Well, only the best for Destroy. Lonely? At Coachella. Somebody yeah. with taste, Scary bro. Scary Godmother. Favorite Halloween movie of all. What the? See, now you're striking. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie right there. Great movie, Scary boy. Cartoon Network. Yeah. Cartoon Network. Yes, bro. Mm. Yes. That, I like. Tell me more about the scary go. godmother. Yeah, they're my favorite. I like Ooh, one the two. scary godmother. Ooh. 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 Yo. Bro, I used to love that shit so much, bro. I had my grandma. She used to be able to do like you could record TV and put it on a DVD. I had my grandma make a DVD for me. At the scary godmother. She used to watch that shit all the time. It's my favorite Halloween movie all the time. Possible sample down the line. I guess so, Narwar. You want me to sample a lot of shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have another gift for you right here for you to sample. Batman Napoleon doesn't beat on a mentally Dynamite. ill. He beats on the mentally ill to make them Check mentally out the well. Breaks that you can actually sample Facts. for your music. This is my favorite movie on earth. Yo, what? Nah, see, I can fuck with this. I'd probably play this just because I've seen this movie a million times and I know I like the look. <laughs> <laughs> What's his favorite part of Napoleon Yo, Dynamite? Yo, Ken Carson do remind me of it's, Chum uh, Chum. He's sitting in the classroom, I think, or he at the lunch table. I haven't seen him in a minute. He pulled a tie. This is literally like, fanboy and Chum Chum. He's going to do the tie. Eat him. You're like, gosh. I fought with Napoleon Dynamite, bro. I've probably seen this movie a million times. My, uh, mm -hmm. Somebody else who I care about a lot, they got me a birthday gift. It was like it was like a special edition of the DVD. It was like furry and it was like like tiger print or whatever. But I still got the rapper to this day. I love this movie. That shit at my house. You can sample that one as well, and that's a gift for you. <laughs> for sure. I, I was wondering though, is it really like 150 Yo, a songs per month you write? Quite a few songs you write per month. That's my boy. I just got out here in LA a month ago. Ask him how many songs I do. Uh, probably about 200 now. Wow. That's a lot of lyrics. Five. What do you do when you record so many? Uh, like, what sort of mindset? Like, I want to do five tonight. How does it work out? I don't count, and I don't care. I just, I like working. Me and my brother, we just sit in the studio. That's where we live at. When I get off stage, we're going to go to a studio. Well, I got I got my up in the house right now. But that's how we got here. That's how we're going to leave here. That's what we're doing 24-7. Nothing else. MF Doom. Crazy. I like MF Doom. I was in, I was somewhere yesterday. That was, I walked in for the win, this burger spot, playing y'all down on blast because it's already on blast. I walked in there, that's playing MF Doom, just in my head. But I go to the bathroom, I'm like, yeah. I fought with MF Doom for sure. Here is a gift for you from Vancouver, Canada to bring <laughs> back some smoke, an original Cheech and Chong record with Damn. some. Oh. <laughs> this overly true. This is hard. This is fine. I'm hanged. <laughs> I'm hanging. I'm hanging. So that's for you to use afterwards. Yo, you can roll up in this. Yeah. Damn. That's this is a crazy vibe. From 19. Yo, yeah, we got to. We got from to. 1972. Damn. <laughs> five, 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 five. That's the safe word. Hey, look though. Tommy Chong, originally from Edmonton. I like uh, Canada people. Y'all make good music, and you do good things with your YouTube. Shout out Canada. I really appreciate that. So this is a gift for you to indulge in afterwards. I, you know, we about to smoke this. I ain't gonna lie, that shit hard. Big, that shit say big bamboo. Hey, ain't psyched up with that. That's fine.
Also, I was curious what's going on in this photo right here. These are my eyes. Right, so look, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. Then my brother heads. I still be with this nigga every day to this day. This nigga got a new name, LD. This this nigga named Brandy. This is my this is my brother right here though. I love this nigga to death. But we was just we was five, bro. Like can't say who the f thought we was, bro. But now nah, though, when they see this, they gonna be they that's that's gonna be funny. And on the back, this is incredible. What's going on here? This is incredible. My brother Danny, yeah, he out there. Uh, I used to sleep on his couch every time I used to come to LA, and he was making clothes. So he gave me an opportunity to model for his clothes and he took it and he put it right here. And this is my first time ever modeling. And since this little small shit that I did for my bro, I done did a lot of big It was just like, I guess like a little light manifestation, but shout out to him. He's still here to this day. He out there. I love that nigga. I think it's great that you shout out Vivian Westwood. Where? In a song. <laughs> I like Vivian. <laughs> like now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nigga uh, said where? She did a lot for fashion and swag. She's and Ken talks about Stella. In veteran, you shout out Stella McCartney. Yo, I love Stella McCartney. Like, I love that. Like, Stella, Vivian, that's amazing. We really big on what we do. I know we might seem like we having fun, and uh, uh, but we we got a lot of knowledge on a lot of things. Like, we, we really do this. When did you first hear of Ken? I didn't first hear of Ken. See, everything, everybody that's around me, I met in real life. It wasn't a hearing of Ken Carson. Me and Ken, we from the same place. We from Atlanta. But when I met my brother, I was actually in LA and we was outside at, uh, I forgot where we was at. It was some other performing. It looked just like you. Had no, movie, no music at the time, but it was some, some other performing. And we was, out, we was outside, we was on the I said, what's up to him? He said, what's up uh, Long got a bigger head than me. Or whatever. Like my head so not that home. big. Him already the, the opium nigga crazy now. I don't know how the fuck, I was in my room one day and then caught my phone, he's like, where you at? Pull up. I don't even know how they got my number, but I put up on him. I was with him ever <laughs> since every day. It's probably like four years ago, going on five years now. But everybody I meet, I met in real life. I met Ken in real life. It's my real brother. I met him in LA. And what about Lone? When did you first encounter Lone, even not music? It's crazy because my friends <laughs> knew his music before me, but I knew him before them. Wasn't me and Ken was friends. It wasn't yeah, about no music. And he was he was hanging out with my best friend. Yeah, I, I was hanging with Cam like I was hanging with Cam hella. And he was coming with Cam. And bro, before we ever was even making songs together and none, we was just smoking weed, watching perform. And, and let 88 to be making beats. Like we don't even have a microphone. We just right there like making beats, surviving. And we get hit. That's when we'll send that shit. We'll send that shit to bro. Mm -hmm. No bet. We was, we was out, we, it was this little apartment. It was hard. One of his homies house, we all used to just sit up in there and talk about this shit. Long got a yam that. on his face. Have you ever been to the Coke plant I don't in see Atlanta? Y'all niggas call Coke, any Coke, black Coke. person with a that nose a crazy, big, huge nose. Coca -Cola factory, I'm seeing it. Big place, yeah, for sure. Coke plant. No. Coke plant is crazy. <laughs> I'm seeing it. Yeah, for sure. I was just, I was just in there with bread. Yeah, for sure. What's Ludacris's restaurant like, Beer and Chicken at the airport? I, I never ate that. Uh, my fault, uh, but hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been there to mm -hmm. <laughs> What about Ken? What's this called? The, the, the <laughs> and chicken. No, you said it's at the airport? <laughs> I'm gonna check it out now though. What terminal that's at? I'm not sure. Luda, you gotta get on your shit. Uh, You're ready to go, aren't you? I'm so, we supposed to have free beer and chicken. Yeah. So that shit's in the spin out. What about Two Chains restaurant? Doesn't Two Chains have restaurants? I have not been to his restaurant either. I live in my own world, but I fuck with the unks for sure. What about T.I.'s Trap Museum? No. What the hell? No, I ain't never been to that. Go places like I go, that. I go to T.I. Studio, shout out that boy yeah, too. Yeah, uh, well, we can't drop the studio, but we be out there in the studio though, for sure. Walter's Clothing, the legendary Walter's Clothing. I walked in Walters and got me some voices. <laughs> What's the clothing scene like there? Shit, it's just legendary. Walters ain't like no clothing store. It's just it's just Central Atlanta. It's been there forever. You go in there, get whatever you need. excuse me, whatever you need, like tank top, shoe, tin, forces, like quick. Like I mean, now it's probably a little bit more souped up. I ain't been in there in a minute, but just like a central store that's been there for a long time. Some historic. I think it's great you did the I've song. I've never been Pink to Panthers. the trap museum. Shout out her. Like I ever. fuck with her. Shout out Pink, man. If you seen this, I fuck. Is with it because I live in Macon? Quote, Goonies never say die. die. And lastly, I have a gift for you. An original Goonies pin. Yo, I love the Goonies. From 1985. This is mad. That's this is fire, mad, bro. bro. 
Uh, I used to watch. I fuck with the Goonies. That's how I became a Gooner. First movies, like you know when you watch movies. You know what I'm talking about? Like, first movie, you can, like, remember, like, like watching. Like, it's one of the first movies, like, I was like, oh, damn, this is a cool movie. Big ugly. But, yeah, my grandma showed me this. Shout out, shout out to Goonies. It's, it's like, like a movie. Like, watching movies sting up late. You hate people that sleep in late past 10 a.m., don't you? Man, we some early birds, man. We might wake up 6 a.m., go to sleep 4 a.m. Still get up early. I'm on the phone with this nigga, clockwork, every day. And then we can start in the day. I hate all that sleeping shit. Man, I could overload on any, whatever. I'm still up early in the morning, ready to get that paint. That's just that's how I do it. That's how we do it. Thank you, Destroy Lonely, for the shout out <laughs> on Montreality. Yo, nah, he did as look like the Shouted Sony emoji, that. bro. That's crazy. When did you first hear me? That's fine. Just curious. I ain't gonna lie, keep me 100. Nigga, this life, we've been watching you forever. We've been trying. The same spot we met at, we used to just be watching interviews and, and performances. <laughs> you rolling loud, all this shit like me and twins sitting right there. But we, I ain't gonna lie, we really giving these fucks, man. I'm gonna keep it 100. Y'all be like, is this real friends or whatever? Bro, man, just sit on the couch, back there, and watch everybody perform and be like, bro, one day, one day we gonna be doing the same shit. Bro, we just like anybody else, bro. Like, we was right there applying and now we doing it. And anybody else can do it too. <laughs> Coachella 2024. Yes, sir. Destroy Lonely, anything else to add to the people out there? That's real, man. Yeah, I stay fire, I fire, you fire, we fire, double O. I you know what's crazy, bro? There's probably somebody in here that had a sentence be told to them that they can't do nothing in their life right now. Like, how many times somebody done told y'all that shit? Like, stop trying to do this and do that. So many, bro. You did Jupiter John, what did I tell you? Like, you have? What did I say? What did I, what did I say? <laughs> Why should people care about Destroy Lonely? Why should people care? <laughs> Shit, bro, cause, cause I care about I care about people, man. I care about the world. I care about my twins. I care about everything. We bring a positive. Say the turtles, man. Music, bro, we do this shit the right way. I feel like say the turtles. I feel like now we in a place where a lot of people don't, but we still get and we still want everything to be right, sound right, be pushed the right way, feel good, and that's what we on. So that's why you should give a fuck about me, my campaign, my twin campaign, this opium shit, everything we doing. It's authentic. It's real. Well, thanks so much, Destroy Lonely. Keep on rocking in the free world and do, do, do. Do it, do it, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the hell we are. Nah, we ain't, we ain't. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> tiki face, son. <laughs> tiki, tiki. Hold on, hold on. Asa. All right, what's the next vid? Is there any more vids? Oh, that's stupid, bro. Just seen the Ken one. We watched the Ken one before this one. Drewski video. Yeah. <laughs>